this time I'm going to use the factor theorem to determine which of the following, A, B, C or D, are factors of this polynomial. So I'll write out the polynomial again. And A was testing x plus 1. To test that, I need to substitute negative 1. Same number, opposite sign. Sub it in. Negative 1 cubed minus 7 times negative 1 minus 6. Now, if this equals 0, x plus 1 is a factor. If it doesn't, it's not a factor. So we get negative 1. We get plus 7. We get minus 6. That does equal 0. Therefore, x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. Question B asked us to test x minus 1. So to test that, I need to substitute the same number with the opposite sign. Positive 1. 1 cubed minus 7 times 1 minus 6. And if this equals 0, then x minus 1 is a factor. 1 minus 7 minus 6 is 1 minus 13, negative 12. So no, it's not a factor in this case. So we can write down that x minus 1 is not a factor. Now I'll do C and D on the next page. C was x plus 3. To test this, I substitute negative 3. So replace each x with negative 3. Work it out. Negative 27 plus 21 take 6. That's not 0. That's negative 33 plus 21 is negative 12. It's not 0 though, so I can say that x plus 3 is not a factor. And part D asked us to test x minus 3. So to test that, again, all we need to do is substitute, but we substitute positive 3 into the polynomial. Which is 27 minus 21 minus 6. And that is 0 which means that x take 3 is a factor. So in a question like this one, you not only have to decide whether each part is a factor or not, but you also have to show the working to support it.